make sure that there are two bodies are there you can see here so first body is the front part of the wing and uh, second part is the and uh, tail section of the wing i am going to create boolean operation i am going to use subtraction so i am subtracting the second body from the first body so i am going to click on the first geometry here second body this one and uh, if i said generate so it will remove the second body but i don't want to remove the second body so that's why i'm going to click on the preserve body and selecting yes here so then we can see two bodies okay now why i'm doing this one means so uh, in lifting and dragging uh, dragging and uh, when it is lifting the plane or uh, dropping the plane so we can see that there is a uh, wing is going to change the angle so i'm going to use a rotation option here for example so i'm selecting the second body and the axis of rotation i'm choosing this body face circular face or fillet face then this body this face and specify an angle here so let's provide an angle call as 30 degrees here i'm going to generate and i want to show every body so two bodies we can see that tilting of the aeroplane wing is going to come so that's why I created once it is done so I want to make sure that this should be this one should be copied so uh, removing this rotation okay I'm going to copy this body three times I'm going to click on boolean operation selecting all bodies here and the direction is uh, z direction I'm going to use the plane xy plane so that we can see the direction and uh, distance between each one i'm going to provide 0.51 and i want to repeat this one two times and generate so that we can see two wings so two more wings here now once it is generated i want to tilt this one as a lifting and this one is a drop uh, landing so it is a lifting and is standing and medium is zero angle so let's go to rotate again second body here I'm going to choose the face this one is hidden body this face I'm selecting and uh, specify the angle minus 30 so generate so that we can see that the tilting of the uh, wing is coming again for this body also let's uh, hidden this body I'm going to vision, create rotate I'm selecting the body and rotation direction is this one this plane and uh, angle is 30 degrees here generate I want to show all bodies that's why I'm going to click on show all bodies so that we can see uh, three wings with the different angle of the tail sections so I want to create each individual zones so for that one I'm going to choose a plane again so X set plane click on sketch option I'm going to create three bodies here three rectangle bodies okay each rectangle body I'm going to select each rectangle body as 15 height and uh, 50 I want to specify the 50 here so millimeters here I'm going to specify 50 distance 50 50 and each one have gap of 1 and from year to year also I'm going to specify that is 25 from year to year I'm going to specify 25 plus 1 that is 26 so that we can see the three bodies are three rectangle bodies are coming once it is done I'm going to specify distance from year to year is 60 and the tail section I'm creating 100 here the random values so you can choose any values here 
I want to see the how it is going to affect the flow around the ring. So each body is generated. I'm going to extrude these bodies with the add frozen direction. Then I'm selecting this reverse and followed by the distance cover 250. Generate so that we can see all bodies. I'm going to click on create again boolean operation all the target bodies are this whatever created zones are there our target bodies and left over all the bodies considered as a two bodies generate now we can see some multiple bodies are generated just we can simply suppress those bodies because we don't, those bodies are created because of some shape modification here this one and this one but this one and this one we got i'm going to make sure that it is scaled as per required create scale i'm going to select three bodies here i'm going to specify times of 20 and generate so that we can see bigger wings instead of smaller mm value uh, once it is done simply go to the main window let's add fluid for fluid fluid for fluid here and open the mesh wireframe you can see the wireframe from clicking here so wireframe i'm going to select these three faces i'm making as inlets and uh, opposite to inlets i'm going to select these faces as outlets outlets and uh, let's select these back faces and front faces right click i'm going to make sure that these all are hidden once it is hidden i can go to select the, all the rest of the faces like this okay all the faces I'm going to right click here. I'm going to make sure that specify a name for like wall. I'm selecting wall again. Right click, hidden faces. Okay, now I'm selecting the rest of the bodies. Only wings, I'm going to select not these faces only wings i'm going to select right click here i'm going to specify all the wings name as wings again wings false there are three faces are listed here let's select these faces also apply okay once it is done i'm going to click on the mesh let's choose a mesh units here i'm going to choose mm Let's put a number here. Let's put 25 millimeters because the body size is around 1000 and uh, increased 20 times. The minimum size of this particular thing is this length. So it is 194 is there. So I'm going to provide at least one uh, 20 to 25 mm as a mesh value. Simply generating mesh. Okay, the mesh is completed. Just go to mesh again, update the project. Now go to main window. You can see right mark here once it is updated. Now I'm going to click on the setup, right click. I'm going to click on edit option so that we can start right i'm going to click ok to continue process okay once uh, message uh, body is imported and the left side we can see setup 
in the setup we can see different types of uh, options i'm going to click on generals so we can see general settings and followed by if it is of any temperature differences we can use this setup now i'm going to open the cell zones so let's use uh, let's see what type of uh, default material has been selected here so default selected as air so no need to change here click ok and uh, boundary conditions i'm going to click on the inlet so in inlet i need to specify the velocity of the wind so generally so i'm going to specify the wind velocity here so average speed of the wind uh, average speed of the aeroplane will be around 300 kilometers per hour so for example if i consider 300 kilometers per hour divide by air meter per second is given so 300 kilometers 300 into 1000 meters now it is it should be divided into 60 minutes divided by again 60 that is equal to 83 uh, meters per second 83 I'm going to click on ok to confirm it and uh, walls we need to change as symmetry body and it's not a closed area so it is an open area so that's why i'm going to select a uh, symmetry here outlet will be pressure outlet so nothing to change other here afterwards i'm going to click on the run calculation specify it, uh, iterations here let's put some value thousand i'm going to click on calculator okay let's wait it takes certain time time for analysis so here I'm going to okay one solution is completed completed I'm going to close this one go to main window have a click on this Now, I'm going to click on this wings and double click on that one, constant to variable, here I'm going to see the pressure on the wing by local level. If I selected that one, then we can see counter results on the wings, the way we can, where we should, can see the for application of the pressure due to the wind velocity. So now I'm going to click on the legend here, appearance, make it as full this one, fixed, let's consider 20x. Now we can see results of the air means results of the present. Let's modify this one. Here local variable is there, range is local, but I'm going to click on user defined. Minimum is 0, maximum I am going to specify, maximum value. Now we can see difference. So where we can, we can see difference, where we can press it is applying over the wing. And we can see counter results also. I am going to undo this one. Now I want to see how it is going to affect, that means how the airflow is going to affect. So that's why I am going to click on the L line line okay choosing one direction then here we can see that i want to create line right so i'm going to click on apply so that we can see a sample line which is coming here at the bottom so i want to change the directions here based on x y z so in a, in y we have to get so x y z i'm going to pull one false to one negative like this and everything should come forward only you can see the area but i want to get i want to get in the front view section so yeah 
so this one should come and that means negative x here negative x negative x now you can see a line here i want to duplicate this line again one more time so that second zone also get same thing with it the height i need to specify in z direction so now we can see lines and rings perpendicular parallel to rings now i'm going to click on this one call as streamlines select the lines apply then make sure that click on generate and click on apply so that we can see the generation of the streamlines here on the line we can see 10 equal samples i'm going to specify 100 equal samples we can see the increasing of the samples here I want to see streamlines from the face click on this one select all the inlets and apply here I'm going to specify a number 150 or 250 so that we can see more number of the results here choose a view so that we can see deviations here how it is going to affect Similar way, I want to see the only section 4, so that means counter on the cases here. Click on plane, create x, z plane. So I am going to increase the distance, negative, so that we can see sections. Next, we can remove that one. Now, if I click on the plane, color outdoor to sorry, color constant to you know, uh, variable local pressure apply. You can see difference in the presence, and I can make it user minimum as zero. Maximum as maximum value. So you can see difference here. Similar way, I can see velocity apply. And default velocity is specified 83 as a minimum, which is air velocity, and maximum will be maximum. So that we can see counter results of the wind or velocity. Click on animation button, select a plane and click on play button so that the plane moves forward and backward so that here I am going to activate this one so I am going to stop frame play so that we can see how it is going to affect the air around the wheel. 